Hello friends, this video on mathematical reasoning part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Credit by contradiction. So, we have to prove that root 7 is irrational. Please pay attention to the rhetoric question. So now, let's assume that root 7 is rational. Okay, let's assume that. So if root 7 is rational, then we can say that root 7 can be represented in a by b form correct where a and b are any positive integer positive i i and also a and b has no common factor because if there is a common factor for example it is 4 by 2 this becomes 2 correct so if you want to make the, if you if you are assuming that this is rational, we are assuming that this is rational. Let's suppose I will write here, we will assume root 7 is rational. And then we will somehow come to conclusion that this is not rational. We will assume that root 7 is rational, so we can say root 7 is nothing but a by b, where a and b are positive integer and a and b has no common factor. Correct? So you square this, root 7 square becomes 7 and a b square becomes a square by b square. Correct? So we can say that a square is equal to 7b square. Thus, we can say that a square is nothing but 7c because b square is a constant, right? b square is a constant. So we, we can say any constant, we can say k constant. Correct? Since a here, since 7 is a prime number here, so we can say that since a square is equal to 7k, 7 is a factor of a square, so 7 is also a factor of a, we can say that. So the statement we have is, 7 is factor of a. Please note here, it is 7, so we have written this. If this would have been forced, we could not have said, for example, a is equal to, let's suppose, uh, 2, right? And if you say that a square is equal to 4 into 1, we can't say that 4 is factor of a, a. 4 is factor of a square because a square is equal to 4, right? But we can't say 4 is factor of a. But in this case, since it is 7, it's a prime number, so we can say that if 7 is a factor of a square, 7 has to be factor of a because it's a prime number, right? So we have concluded that 7 is a factor of a. So we can write something like this a is equal to 7k given some constant. Now let's square this. So this becomes a square is equal to 49 k1 square. Correct? So also we have one equation that a square is equal to 7b square. This equation. So we have two equations. This equation 1 and this equation 2. So from this equation, if you see right, LH is the same, so RH is also the same. So we can assume that 49k1 square is equal to 7b square. We can assume, right? So we can say that b square is equal to 7k1 square. K1 square. So or some some constant, right? Some constant. We'll say some k2. B square is equal to 7 k2. So here also if you see that, we can say that, so from this we can say that 7 is factor of b. Why we have said that? Because b square is equal to, because we have seen that b square is equal to 7 into some constant. Because I am saying k2 is equal to k1 square, all constant only. And why I am saying that? Because 7 is a prime number, so we can say that 7 is a factor of b square. So we can say that 7 is a factor of b, because 7 is a factor prime number. So we have seen that 7 is a factor of A and 7 is a factor of B. So from if you add these two conditions, what we get? 7 is a factor of A and B. That means A and B has a common factor and that is 7. But what we have assumed here? That A and B is not having any common factor. Correct. So what we have done here? We have contradict our assumption because this is our assumption. This we have assumed and we have contradicted our assumption itself, correct? Thus, we can prove that whatever we have assumed that root 7 is rational is incorrect. 
so root 7 is irrational instead of rational please make a note what we have done this is little critical we have assumed that root 7 is rational and when we assume root 7 is rational we assume that a and b are positive integer and a and b have no common factor correct now using our mathematical calculation we have proved that 7 is factor of both a and b that means 7 is a common factor between a and b so our assumption that a and b has no common factor turned out to be incorrect and thus we can say that whatever we have assumed that p is rational is incorrect in this example we have to prove by contradiction please note contradiction contra positive are different so for example if p is to q is a statement if you want to use to prove using contra positive you have to prove that not of q implies not of q but if you want to prove using contradiction what we have to do we have to assume p is not q and this statement we have to prove to be false correct by contradiction is this contra positive is different so here we have to use contradiction if n is odd number is p then n is prime is a q so by contradiction we have to prove that this statement so if if this statement is true then the statement is false this statement is false if this statement is false then the statement is true so what we have to prove so if you have to if, if the statement is correct or not what we have to find the value of this correct now we let's find the value of this if n is odd integer then n is not prime right n is not prime and this is odd integer if n is odd integer n is not prime so the statement is if n is not integer then n is not prime let me write this if n is equal to odd then n is not prime correct so we'll take some example where this statement is false in fact if n is equal to 15 we take this statement is true but n is not prime is 15 a prime yes 15 is not a prime both are true so that means we have proved that this statement is true so if this statement is true then that means this statement is false because we are doing contradiction here correct so by any chance if we can prove that this statement is true that means the statement which we have given is false so since we have proved that the statement is true in any case even if in one case we prove that the statement is true that means our statement in the question is false so here we can say that p is to q is false why because in one scenario p is to q not is true in one scenario in one scenario we found that this came out to be true that means this statement is false and that is our answer correct here also we had to prove that if x is real number x is a real number and is x q x q plus 4x is equal to 0 then we have to prove x equal to 0 so we will we will find first x q plus 4x is equal to 0 this implies x into x square plus 4 is equal to 0 so from this we assume found that x is equal to 0 or x square is equal to minus 4 x square is equal to minus 4 implies x is equal to 2y correct because root of minus 4i is 2y but we are saying that x is a real number so we will assume this we will uh, we'll ignore this part this plus minus 2 we will ignore this part so the only value we get is x equal to 0 that means statement is correct if x cube plus 4x is equal to 0 and x is real this implies x equal to 0 so this statement is true if you want to prove using contradiction we have to assume that x is not equal to 0 so this is normal by shape this is contradiction by contradiction so by contradiction we have to assume that assume that x is not equal to 0 
and if we can assume we can prove that our contradiction is incorrect that means the statement is correct and if we prove that our contradiction our assumption is correct that means the statement is false correct so we have assumed that x is not equal to 0 now if you solve this equation the same equation again i will solve this again i will get x equal to 0 and uh, plus minus 2i but since it is a real number we ignore this so we have found x equal to 0 that means our assumption is incorrect since our in assumption is incorrect the statement is correct so in connotation what we do we assume that this is false and then we try to prove that whatever we assumed is incorrect and thus the statement is correct we can also prove this is in contra positive let me do that so that will make the concept clear this is now contra positive so contra positive for p is to q is not of q implies not of p correct so not of q here will be this one that is x is not equal to 0 this implies that x cube plus 4x is not equal to 0 correct so if you prove this that means it is correct so if, we, if x is not equal to 0 if x is not equal to 0 then x into x square plus 4 will not be equal to 0 we know that because to make this 0 x has to be 0 or x has to be plus minus 2i and since x is a real number so if you put any real number which is non-zero this will never be zero correct thus by contra positive also we can prove that the statement is correct what we have done first for the statement we wrote the contra positive statement the contra positive statement is if x is not zero then x cube plus 4x is not zero now if x is not zero is our condition is also one of our condition and x is not is a real number is the super condition then we found that if you don't put x equal to 0, the only values which can make this whole equation 0 is plus minus 2i, which are not real numbers. We'll ignore that part. So, if we take any real number other than 0, this equation is not 0. Thus, by contra positive, also we have proved the statement is. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.